All right, everybody, just a little update on the 4.0. Uh, I went and made me a little jig for new pistons and rods because my old ones, I was not happy with them. They had some hairline cracks in these skirts. So I ordered new ones and I got these ones. They're really good, I think. They're uh, engine tech. So I made my nice little jig here to help hold it in place. I got my two screws set here and here to actually hold it in place so it centers it. And then this screw right here is my stop for my wrist pin. Uh, the one thing I'll show you that I do is I take my wrist pin. I actually put, I measure it with a set of calipers. And then I find the center, and then I mark the center on here. I take my small end, and I find the center on it, which is pretty pretty easy, I should say, uh, to find the center on it. And then I mark it again. And then when I put it in here, I set it down and check it see where my center is so that when I push my wrist pin in all the way that I know it will stop right there and as it should and then when I bring my wrist pin once it cools it'll stay centered right here I don't always talk about it. I don't understand why everybody's talking about how hard it is sometimes with your one hand. So it'll be centered right in where I need to believe. So I built my own little jig right here. So uh, just simple little things. I can unscrew it. Uh, I also got it where I can actually use um, my drill also. And then just sits down on here. Just got. It's just I used this bolt here, smoothed it off so that there's no rough spots on it for my wrist, for my wrist pin to hit at all. So it just it's nice and smooth. So it feels really good. So that's what's going on with this thing. I mean, these are pieces of uh, rubber hose, and these are just screwed down with a screw with a nut underneath. And uh, this is also, uh, the, this piece of metal is also threaded for them. And that's just lock them just to hold them in place. So this rubber won't mow her up. And then this rubber hose came off of uh, my Jeep, old Jeep parts. That, um, for the back tailgate or tail hatch. So that's what I use that with. And then I bolted that down so I could actually exchange it or if something happens, I can move it out of the way. So and then just used a piece of uh, old metal that I had laying around and then a carriage bolt right here and just welded it all together. So I got me a nice little jig put together for uh, my wrist pin installation. Uh, but just wanted to show you that real quick. So that's what's going on with it. Uh, I'm done with the wife's truck right now. I had uh, fun playing with it because the knock sensors went out. Um, so it's a 5.3 liter. If anybody knows about those, the engineers decided to put those right in the middle of the valley under the intake manifold. So... All right, that's all I got for updating right now. Uh, if I get more of it together, I will let you know. Uh, I do have the <clears throat> crankshaft is in it. Really easy to turn. So, just not one-handed. It was cold out here. So, it is all ready to go. All right. Oh, the other thing I needed to address was somebody was asking me about my buckets why well, i got so many cat buckets 
Uh, I actually use them uh, for different things like miscellaneous, uh, large bolts, gaskets, uh, and a lot of different things that are, there's hoses, like this one's got hoses in it. clean this up so there's back in there there's more there uh, that I use uh, my son-in-law uses them uh, my neighbor uses them now for storing stuff in uh, if you got cats or anything my wife's got some cats so I decided to start using these for storage and then we also have some birds which are parakeets and I use all that for putting my nails in, uh, miscellaneous stuff, wiring, uh, bits and pieces. So I just like parakeet food, but this is all the little, the little rubber stoppers I collected. Um, a lot of nails and nuts and bolts and hoses and a lot of... A lot of my nails are in here. All my screws. Uh, I know exactly where to find my zip ties. They're all here together. All right. Y'all have a good one. Thanks.